What happens when you discard the narcissist? Have you reached your breaking point in a relationship with a narcissist? Are you contemplating leaving but terrified of their reaction? When you initiate a breakup with a narcissist rather than being discarded by them, it opens up a Pandora's box you need to prepare for. In this deep dive, I'll walk you through the likely sequence of events so you know what to expect after you abandon a narcissist first. Understanding their response and the extreme lengths they may go to regain control is crucial. This way, you can steel yourself for their manipulation, rage, threats, and obsession to pull you back into their web of abuse. Let's dive in and shed light on the darkness that unfolds when you discard a narcissist before they're done with you. Their shock and denial when you discard the narcissist. When you finally work up the courage to leave a narcissist, brace for a state of total shock and denial on their end. Chances are, you threaten for years to leave if they didn't change. But narcissists are masters of denial, and they never think you're actually serious. Their delusions of grandeur make it impossible for them to fathom you walking away for good. Even after you move out, file for divorce, cut contact, they cling to the belief they can manipulate you back under their spell, or they assume you'll crumble from missing them. They severely underestimate your willpower after systematically destroying your self-esteem for so long. Accepting reality would shatter the fictional perfect self they invented. So they deny, deny, deny that you could actually be done with them. Bargaining and guilt trips when you discard the narcissist. When it finally sinks in that you mean business, expect a barrage of bargaining tactics and guilt trips. They may promise change and plead for another chance, even though you know those promises are empty. Or they'll describe a traumatic childhood as an excuse, hoping you take pity on them. With their manipulation skills, they know how to exploit your empathy. But don't forget they chose to be abusive despite their sad background. Do not get lured back in by manufactured sympathy ploys. This is simply another means of regaining control of you. Rage and threats when you discard the narcissist. If you don't cave to the bargaining, the narcissist's loss of power over you will quickly morph into outrage. Their crushed ego simply cannot compute why you, a lowly insignificant person, dare leave them a superior being. This dangerous threat to their false sense of self will send them into a vindictive rage. One tactic is aggressively threatening things like taking your kids away, ruining your reputation with lies, or even physical harm. Though empty, these threats are their way of terrorizing you into compliance. Retribution and sabotage when you discard the narcissist. If you won't be intimidated back into the relationship, the narcissist will launch into full destruction mode to make you pay. Any way they can sabotage your life, damage your property, or turn people against you becomes fair game in their twisted mind. This could look like spreading vicious rumors about you at your workplace, stalking and harassing you, draining your bank accounts, or trying to have you arrested for fabricated crimes. Their quest for ultimate revenge knows no bounds, so be prepared for almost anything. Obsessive hatred towards you when you discard the narcissist. Even if you manage to rebuild your life after leaving, the narcissist's lingering hatred for you may turn into a scary obsession. They cannot stand to see you thriving and overcoming their abuse. It threatens their internal narrative of power and superiority over you. So, in extreme cases, the narcissist might dedicate decades trying to decimate you and everything you care about. They may stalk you, interfere with your relationships, or try to drive you to complete mental and emotional breakdown. Their goal becomes fixating on and facilitating your total destruction by any means necessary. Why discarding them is so dangerous? The reason the narcissist responds to being left first with such extreme cruelty and vengeance is because they cannot handle the loss of power and control over you. In their disordered mind, only they get to decide when the relationship ends. You asserting your free will, with no regard for their wishes, is the ultimate insult. Being discarded first destroys the narcissist's carefully crafted false self, and they will go to unthinkable lengths to assert their dominance over you, once again, or make you suffer for daring to break free. Their fragile ego and pathological need for control turn them into a dangerous monster when abandoned first. Ways to safely break ties when you discard the narcissist. Because of how volatile and vindictive narcissists become when discarded first, here are some safer strategies. Secretly prepare your exit plan, open your own bank account, separate belongings, find lodging. Make them think ending things was their idea. Appeal to their ego. Use the gray rock method becomes so boring they lose interest and discard you. File for restraining orders if they stalk or harass you repeatedly. Alert close friends and family about what's happening for support. Get professional help from a therapist to process the trauma. The aftermath when you discard the narcissist. While discarding a narcissist 
first opens the floodgates to their worst behavior. Learning to validate yourself is key to the healing process. Understand none of their threats. Rage or obsession with destroying you has anything to do with your worth. It stems from their unstable psychology and inability to control you any longer. Stay strong, keep close to supportive people, and know you did nothing wrong by breaking free of abuse. With time away, you will rediscover your inner light outside the darkness of the narcissist trying to extinguish it. Stay safe and trust in your resilience.